Do you know what these are? These are the pyramids of Giza, and these gigantic structures have stood tall in the Egyptian desert for thousands of years. So let's explore some amazing facts about these ancient wonders and uncover some of their secrets. The pyramids were built as giant tombs or special places where the ancient Egyptian kings called pharaohs were buried. The Egyptians believed that when a pharaoh died, he would need a safe place filled with treasures, food, and items to help him in the afterlife. That's kind of like life after death. The pyramids were built to be super strong and last forever, protecting the pharaoh's bodies and their belongings from robbers and keeping them safe for all time. And these pyramids were also built to show how powerful and important the pharaohs were, almost like a big monument saying, hey, remember me? There are three main pyramids located at Giza, each built for a different pharaoh. First, we have the Great Pyramid of Khufu. This is the largest pyramid and it was built for Pharaoh Khufu. It stood about 480 feet tall. That's taller than a 40-story building. Then we have the Pyramid of Khafra. And this pyramid might look like it's the tallest, but that's because it's built on higher ground. It was constructed for Pharaoh Khafra, Khufu's son. And last, we have the Pyramid of Menkare. This is the smallest of the three built for Pharaoh Menkare, and it is still massive at about 215 feet tall. These pyramids were constructed over 4,500 years ago, before even paper was invented. The Great Pyramid of Khufu is made of over 2.3 million limestone and granite blocks. Some blocks weigh as much as 15,000 pounds. That's heavier than four cars. And the ancient Egyptians didn't have cranes or trucks. They used ramps, wooden sledges, and pure muscle power to move these giant stones. It's believed it took around 20 years to build the Great Pyramid with thousands of workers, including skilled builders, engineers, and laborers. The Pyramid of Khafre is the second largest pyramid. And one of the coolest things about Khafre's pyramid is that it still has some of its original smooth white limestone casing at the very top. This gives us a hint of how shiny and bright the pyramids would have looked thousands of years ago. And this pyramid is also famous because it's located near the Great Sphinx, a giant statue with the body of a lion and a human face, which might have been made to look like Khafre himself. The Sphinx is famous for its missing nose, and there are many stories about what happened to it. Some say it was knocked off by accident, but others think it was broken on purpose. Wish I had a nose. I have no idea how I don't have one, or where I lost it, or how I lost it, or if somebody stole it, or what happened. Who? <laughs> nose! <laughs> The Pyramid of Menkar A was unique because it was originally covered in granite on its lower parts. And the pyramids aren't just big triangles on the outside. They have lots of secret rooms and passages inside. The Great Pyramid of Khufu has three main rooms. The King's Chamber, where the King might have been buried, the Queen's Chamber, and another room deep underground. And there are also small tunnels like air vents that go from the rooms to the outside. Some people think these help the pharaoh's spirit find its way to the stars. The pyramids of Giza are like giant puzzles from the past. Scientists are still figuring out all their secrets. So who knows? Maybe one day you could be one of the ones that solves them. But until then, keep exploring, keep building, and keep having fun. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.